class another day today we will talk about oil strainer what is the function of oil strainer function of oil strainer that is what we are going to talk about today oil strainer is not oil filter there are two different things but what is the key difference between oil strainer and oil filter we are also going to discuss that today. You can see how rich our today's class is. Before we start, do well to subscribe to my channel. And don't forget to go to the comment section after the video and say something about the video. And go to the thumbs up, go and give me thumbs up. That is all I needed for you. Now let's go straight right to the video. What is the function of oil strainer? Oil strainer, the key difference between oil strainer and oil filter is the size of the particle that they remove. That is the key difference between them. The size of the particle that they remove. Strainer remove typically large particle that are visible in a liquid or let me say in in engine oil or in a lubricant so why filters why oil filter remove smaller particle that cannot be seen with the naked eyes you can see the difference why your strainer remove the bigger particles that can be seen with your naked eyes your oil cooler your oil filter remove particles that are not visible with naked eyes now that means two of them are doing the same thing the only difference is the size of the particle they remove from the lubricant or in a simpler word from your engine oil your strainer remove bigger size or large particle while your oil filter remove smaller particle that are not visible to the eyes now let's talk about the features of strainer strainer is designed for easy removal and cleaning during servicing it is not like oil filter that you need to change every time you service your engine no cool your strainer your oil strainer can it has a mesh like a net that can be washed and replaced back so you don't just quickly change your oil strainer no rather what you do is that you wash it and you can replace it back where is your oil strainer located that's our next question we need to know about your oil strainer is located right in the sump it is there it's in the sump but it is fixed to your main bearing housing or you can call it main bearing cap that is where it is attached to why some may be attached to the engine block but mostly it is attached to your main bearing cap that is where your oil strainer is always attached to so your oil strainer is located in your engine some and your oil strainer maintain a specific distance to your engine sump it must not be too close or more be far away from your engine sump. If not, the engine will display low oil pressure. Get it right. The service provider or the engine manufacturer maintain a specific distance in your oil strainer. So, prevention, if you are replacing your oil strainer, make sure that the very one you are putting but maintain the same distance if not the engine might experience difficulty in 
sucking engine uh, in sucking lubricant i'm going to relate my personal experience to you what's happened to me i overall an engine of 1000 kva 6 sc packing 6 sc it's a very big engine after the overhauling we also replace the oil strainer complete because the match in the old one is is bad so we replace it but something happened when we replace it when we start the engine the engine displacing low oil pressure low oil pressure low oil pressure so we did everything we could thinking that it was oil pump we use manual gauge to check if it's oil pump we have to lose the engine back again maybe it is our main bearing that is causing the low oil pressure we did everything we couldn't get it the engine keep displaying low oil pressure low oil pressure so we replaced the another uh, oil pump the, the oil pump is very very expensive we have we buy the first oil pump we buy the second oil pump we buy the third oil pump yet the same thing is happening we did everything we lose the we check all the gallery the oil filter housing we did everything even all relief valve was changed thinking that it might be that but to our surprise it is oil strainer that caused your problem what is it the oil strainer that was there before that made the engine to to have seizure or to knock the spring inside the oil strainer is broken so because of that the oil strainer as uh, the design is very close to the sump very close to the sump as if you want to touch the ground of the sump so it couldn't suck again so the very cleaner the very oil strand that we replace it has a we are trying to maintain the same distance that we met there and because of that the distance was too close so we did everything when we remove the match of the strainer to our surprise then it start working it is then we have noticed that the problem that the distance between the oil strainer to the sum is too close that is what happened so we we're able to rectify that and the engine is still working till today so what is the lesson the lesson is that when you are replacing your oil strainer make sure that your oil strainer maintain the same distance with the previous one and if you are treating low oil pressure problem Check your oil, oil strainer. It can be another factor that can cause oil strainer. Now we have discussed about oil strainer. Hope you enjoy the video about oil strainer. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And also do well to give it thumbs up for this video. We just talked about oil strainer. I hope you enjoy it. See you in my next video. Thank you.